in this video I'll be updating the shield consume build I made a couple months ago. The core of the build didn't really change much. I only changed some pieces here and there to make sure every piece had their own purpose and fix some problems the previous setup had. You can check out my previous video where I did a boomless speedrun using this build and finished the tower in 48 minutes and 14 seconds. And if you check the gameplay, you know this build is extremely fast and probably the fastest build I have ever made or played. The problem with the previous setup is first the shield uptime could be better. So what I did is I just got, got more crit chance. I'm sitting at 38% right now, but I would say you want to aim for about 50%. Don't go any more because it will be inefficient and you'll be losing all on damage. And the way you do that is by getting some crit chance on your amulets, on your charm or your weapon. Doesn't matter where you get it on these three pieces. You just want to get some crit chance and you'll be at around 50%. I added a hammer as my offhand weapon. The Cobalt Great Maw has the primary that says weapon technique inflicts ailments. Because we are not using out of the dragon, instead we are using this ring for over health. Our weapons can't really inflict ailments with weapon techniques, so we need this hammer to do it. And the reason I'm using a hammer is the only weapon that can gain weapon technique charge in your offhand are hammers. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm using this hammer. You can ob obviously use um, obsidian mods that have weapon technique inflict ailments on it. And you can choose whatever other primaries you want. And for the secondaries, you just want ailment duration and my power. The second change I made to the build is the lifestone obsidian star. I don't know why I didn't use this in the previous build. I just, I guess I just forgot this thing exists. This thing gives void damage, which is, and it gives a ton of void damage, by the way. So it is a very, very big damage boost if you consume a lifestone. So if you watch the gameplay, you'll see I clear elevator rooms extremely fast. And the way I'm doing that is with Arkham Fury. Mobius Arkham Fury says your attacks have a 65% chance to inflict curse. And that includes the shockwave of the shield. So normally when we consume with the shockwave, this shockwave, it doesn't inflict curse, right? If the enemy doesn't have curse on them, um, it will do very little damage. And because the only thing that can inflict curse is the shield throw, and the shield throw only hits enemies on this trajectory. So it's hard to really, really cleanly clear a full room with a single throw. And to really, really make sure you full clear the room instantly, you just use Arkham Fury. And with Arkham Fury, you have 65% chance to inflict curse with the shield wave. As you can see there, the shield wave is like the curse on that enemy, so he exploded instantly when he spawned. Let's see again if I don't even touch this. Do you see that? The the beetle is procking, so that indicates the consume is working. And that is how I'm playing the elevator room so fast because the shield wave covers pretty much the whole elevator room and so now I'm just s using Archon on every single floor of the elevator room and to increase our Archon uptime I changed out two augments for it two previously kind of useless augments one, the biggest one is innovation, extend the duration of Archon for you by one second whenever you defeat an enemy. This will ensure you have full Archon uh, for the whole duration of the um, elevator room. And even sometimes you can carry it to the next room. Second is Divine Conduit. You gain 50% Archon charge speed for 10 seconds whenever you are hit. Um, and lastly, uh, the skill points I change mainly 
we want five points in critical hit damage. The reason we want this is we want the chance to inflict mark of fragility. And because we don't have any marks in this build, so might as well get mark of fragility for some extra damage, right? And com in combination with the hammer, th it will give this build very, very high single target. That's that's why we want five points in critical hit damage. And to if you are a challenger edition player, for example, all the points you need are like this. And I have 73 points. Most people should have 72 points. Um, mine is bugged, so I have one more. But yeah, this is enough for the build to work at 99% of the power. If you have extra points, get spirit so more for more damage, and this is a hundred percent of the damage already. And the rest you can put whatever you want. Just don't put it in weak points. And that's about it for the update of the build. Thanks for watching.